Welcome to Mikhail Messenger. It's great to be with you guys. And, you know, I specifically, these last couple of videos said uh, anyone can uh, uh, chat. And it still comes up as subscriber-only mode. So there's something wrong with YouTube. Uh, it's not doing it properly there. But uh, you're all welcome here uh, to chat. And I want everybody to participate. Guys, uh, you know, sometimes when you have these insights that God is revealing, uh, you just kind of get beside yourself sometimes in amazement. Um, <laughs> you know, I, I've never been uh, much of a math guy. You know, I kind of had the other side of the brain for most of my life. Um, kind of a uh, English side, you know, uh, writing and, and that kind of thing. And, you know, I, I, I ended up doing really well in math ultimately, uh, but it took me a while uh, to get there uh, until I had a really good teacher that helped me. And then I ended up being head of the class, so to speak, uh, according to her. But um, uh, but it, it took a little bit, you know, it took some effort. And uh, I've been doing more math <laughs> in relation to um, my daily focus than I've probably ever done in my life uh, doing uh, all these end times revelations. And it's just always blowing me away. So uh, I'm really, uh, really excited and uh, <laughs> delighted and humbled to share with you what I'm going to share. Uh, Bobby, good to see you, man. Thanks for cracking the chat, chat box, Sue. Awesome. Good to see you, Donnie and Kenneth and Cheryl. And uh, guys, thanks so much for being here. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. Please like. Please hit their notification button. Please make sure, sure you're still subscribed because they sometimes think you're a robot. I don't know uh, what that really means, but uh, uh, they like to think you're a robot. Uh, uh, I, that's just their cover for trying to like take away your subscribers. So just... Just make sure you're still subscribed and hit the notification button and all that good stuff. If you want to uh, help us as a channel, you can always do that as well. We really do need your help. Um, I'm basically spending all my free time, uh, you know, that I can that, that I can to, to to put to put everything out for you guys. So if you can help out, uh, that really goes a long way. Thank you so much. So uh, guys, I mean, how many more signs can there be? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I suppose with God, it's limitless or eternal. Uh, there's no end to the signs that God can give to us. And, um, man, I thought, you know, when we had this chart going here uh, of this, uh, you know, this timeline, I thought I thought this was amazing, you know. But, you know, I've been amazed this whole journey, you know, and I haven't been in the journey that long. Uh, but every time, uh, you know, a day goes by, God shows something else, and it's just amazing. And, um, and so when I... When I, you know, I, I, I haven't put too many timelines together in, in my journey here so far, but of the few, this has been one of the most compelling. Um, you know, I did do something on the fig tree generation a while back and maybe a couple other ones in there, but for the most part, just kind of, you know, taking it and sharing it. But man, it is pretty amazing to see how God is pulling things together here. And when I take, when I look at this, uh, it, it just is one more notch on God's amazing belt of amazing signs. So as you know, uh, we're looking at uh, perhaps true Passover as May 15th uh, when this amazing blood moon uh, that hadn't been seen for 33 years was three and a half hours. Hmm, sounds a lot like Jesus. Uh, 100, 100 year chiasmus in either direction. Very amazing. All these uh, signs. Uh, then we've got this in the midst, uh, you know, uh, Antichrist being born out of this time period. We got potentially ninth of Av, this time of destruction, which could be the great earthquake we've been waiting for. And then we've got perhaps a false Antichrist day where Antichrist is revealed in between saying, hey, don't worry, we've got you covered. We have this plan, you know, coming as, as the savior, uh, quote unquote, uh, on 8-8, perhaps August 8th, 88. But then we've got the actual 88th day in between this time period, which is Tuba Av, the day of greatest weddings. It also happens to be a supermoon sturgeon, a supermoon, which is a prehistoric fish, as God is the fisher of men. And uh, bringing us in, it's the last supermoon of the summer. So that is huge as well. And, um, and then you've got Messiah the Prince has to be revealed, according to Daniel. Uh, Messiah the Prince will, will come after 69 weeks. Well, 69 weeks since Suleiman finished the wall back there and even even bragged about it in stone uh, that he finished it on 945, which comes out to 1539 Gregorian calendar. You had 483, I believe it is to that. And you get to 2022, as we've talked about in several other videos. And so here we are at this moment of, of, of 
of the Messiah, you know, the Messiah Prince, the Messiah, the Prince coming, as of Daniel 9.25 says. Uh, now, he wasn't the prince when he came the first time. Now, it, it can be argued, well, that was referring to him coming the first time. Well, it, it, it's both, right? Because he did have the 483 years uh, since uh, the initial completing of, of Jerusalem back then uh, in the B.C. era. Uh, and then he did come at that time. But it also applies to today as well, which is pretty amazing how God always does that. He's got all these types and shadows that he likes to do. So, so now, <laughs> So now, today... I'm looking uh, at the dates once again, and I'm realizing that if you go from the beginning of this year until the middle, uh, the 88th day, which is Jesus' number is 88, right? It brings you to t exactly 222 days, 222 days in 2022. And I was like, no way, okay, no way. How can this get any more amazing? Okay, now, and I know there's sites that talk out there about a lot about gematria and dates and how even how the devil uses it. Satan's doing a lot of things according to dates because he thinks he gets power from that. So uh, a lot of satanic people are using dates and things to, to bring about evil things. But isn't it amazing? You know, God is the inventor of everything, right? As we talked about in the last video, uh, you know, when we that we are the third temple and that a lot of symbols that are used satan has commandeered those symbols and and stolen them uh from god and is using them and abusing them uh like the rainbow for example you know i used to love the rainbow and then you go oh gee now i can't use the rainbow anymore you know so it's you know it's satan taking god's symbols of something beautiful and wonderful and corrupting it and changing it well he does that with numbers too but God is the one in control, not Satan. Satan is only an imitator. He has no originality. He's a, he's a fake. He's a phony. He's a counterfeit. He just imitates what God has already done. So that's why he's trying to imitate the Christ, uh, because he doesn't have any original ideas. You know, He's just a destroyer, not a creator. So here we are, uh, the beginning of this year. You know, If I had gone back you know, with this, uh, this photo, I didn't mean to scare you with this photo, because you're like, wait, 222 days? Well, that's if you started counting from the beginning of this year. So not from today. Don't be scared. Not from today. This is actually very exciting. But if you count it from the beginning of this year, it would be 222 days until the wedding, so to speak. So we've got this middle time period that's both 88 days in either direction, which is the number of Jesus, and it's also 222 days as well. Like, are you kidding me? This is this is blowing my mind. Okay, so let's 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 explore this a little bit. Let's just explore this number twenty-two. And I know we've done it a few times, but we're gonna look at a couple of new things today. Twenty-two um, has so much significance. Okay, so eighty-eight is God's number. Eighty-eight eight is, is Jesus's number. Well, God is twenty-six. Uh, Jesus is eighty-eight. Um, as you see here in Gematria, he's eighty-eight, but he's also eight eight eight. If you go back to the original. Hebrew, whoop, not that one. Let's go, is it this one? No, hold on a second. Uh, da, 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 there we go. 888. Okay, so 888, Jesus is Iesus, and that's 888 in the original Greek. And um, the other one I just showed you there, he's 444, which is half of 888. So, you know, no matter which way you slice it. And so when you got a number like 222 and 222 of 2022, you're starting to see some connections here already before I even do any math. I mean, there's a lot of divisibles going on here, right, when it relates to Jesus. So we've got 888. Uh, he comes on the 88th day. It's 88 days in either direction from both blood moons to land on Tuba Av, the, the, the wedding day of wedding days for, for Israel. In fact, what they say about Tuba Av is that it's more popular. It's Tuba Av is more and I was going to do a separate video. Actually, I wrote this down. Hold on. Let me, let me grab my, my handy-dandy phone here because I think I wrote it in my phone last night because I turned off my computer. Uh, so check this out. A couple, couple things about this time period that's very interesting. So 222. Um, all right. Where did it go? I just had it, and now it closed on me. Hold on. Um, hold on a second. 222 is um yeah i had it open and now it's not opening sorry 
Anyway, it's what happens when you do things live on the fly. But uh, anyway, so so I'll just try to remember it from memory. But two two two, um, obviously is half of four four four. Four 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 is obviously half of eight eight eight. Right? It all it all connects. It all relates to each other. Um, but twenty two, we've been talking about twenty two for a while. You know, this is twenty twenty two. So twenty two, you know, that's the twenty second Psalm. You know, that talks about uh, Jesus on the cross. You know, actually quotes things he quoted. Uh, from Psalm 22, which is very significant. Then we've also got um, we've also got the word "light" appears 22 times in the Gospel of John. You know, the Gospel of John is is all about him being the light of the world. You know, uh, he was in the world, though the world was made through him. The world did not recognize him, right? And he is the light of the world. Uh, you know, we are also the light of the world. It's 22 times in the Book of John. And then you've got um, oh, what's this one? Oh, yeah, let me show that one a second. Uh, and then you got 22 chapters in the book of Revelation as well. And Revelation, obviously, is about the end of the world. It's about these end times. Uh, verses 20 and 21 say, Behold, I'm coming soon. And then it's in, and it's the last chapter. It's the end is 22 of all days. Wheat, we are the summer harvest of wheat, and we are 22, and we're going to be taken, right? Um, what else here? I had, had another one. What's this one? Oh, well, 222 also means flame of God. Think about it. If this is a fulfillment of Shavuot, Pentecost, uh, we're talking about the tongues of fire coming down. Um, and that's what happened at Pentecost. And the flame of God is 222. Also, um, there was another, what was the other one I was going to share about 22? Oh, yeah, the word tribulation appears 22 times. Where did I have it here? I thought I had that open already. Tribulation appears 22 times uh, in the Bible, in the King James Version. Uh, the word tribulation is 22 times. So there's a lot of 22s. Also, this year, 5, 7, 8, 2, right? When you add 5 plus 7 plus 8 plus 2, it's 22. Same thing with the year that Israel became a nation, 1948. 1 plus 9 plus 4 plus 8 is 22. So you think God's trying to tell us something here. There's a lot of 22s going on, but that's not all. Here's another interesting one. Um, you know, in the scriptures where it talks about, let's see, is it this verse? You know, it says two men will be in a field. One will be taken, the other left. That's in Matthew 24. Then it also says on that night, two people will be in one bed. One will be taken, the other left. And then it says two women will be grinding grain together. One will be taken, the other left. Two, 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 right? Two in a field, two in a bed, and two grinding at a hand mill. So we've got two, two, two there as well. Very intriguing indeed. Okay, so now let's do a little, let's have a little fun with some math here and two, two, two. And, um, and there was something else I wanted to share with you about this day. Oh, well, one of them is the fact that this day is bigger. It's a bigger day than Yom Kippur. According to Jews, Tuba Av Yom Kippur is a close second. <laughs> so of all the holidays, and let me just, now I, I heard this, now I, I haven't verified that fact, so let me, let me go over here and just, just do a quick search on that. Um, but let me just see, see what comes up when I put that in. Uh, most popular, let's see, popular holiday in Israel. Tuba Av is a minor Jewish holiday in modern Israel. It's celebrated as a holiday of love. Okay, now that says minor, but I saw another thing that actually said that it's that it's like the biggest day of the year. Well, I think it's safe to say it's the biggest day for weddings of the year in, in Israel. Uh, that's for sure. But I saw something else that said that uh, Yom Kippur was like a close second in terms of uh, what they celebrated. But again, I saw that on something. I didn't research it yet. So, uh, so there you go. Take it for what it is. It's a grain of salt. Okay, but... Uh, uh, another thing that's interesting about this time, uh, this time of Av, well, Av, the month of Av means father, okay? Uh, father, kind of like Abba father. So it's the month of the father, right? And the father is the one who sends his son, right? Jesus isn't the one who makes that decision. The father makes that decision. He's the one who sends his son back to the earth to go get his bride, right? And so that's why Jesus says not even the son Knows. I know there's argument whether that's really in the scriptures or not, but I do think it, it goes falls in line with the wedding time because the father is the one that makes that decision of, okay, son, you can go get your bride now. So he sends out Jesus at that time. 
And what's interesting, too, about this month is it is a time of metamorphosis. Uh, this really struck me. A time of metamorphosis um, is the month of Av. In fact, I saw this interesting image on it. I don't know if I'll find it here. Month of Av. But it says it's either it's either a time of meta a, a time of metamorphosis and disintegration. <laughs> I'm like, wow, what what heavy terms they're using there. Um, but let's see. Let me let me see if I can bring it up over here. Um, which which basically they're tying it into the two temples being destroyed on the ninth of Av because they they disintegrated the temples and then they were reborn, right, so to speak. So it's just like being born again. It's just like be, us being transformed and transfigured. When we're raptured, when we're taken, we are changed in the twinkling of an eye, and uh, that it's a time of metamorphosis. Oh yeah, see the mo- what month is it? The month you metamorphose or disintegrate. See, it says it right here. So okay, I'm not making this stuff up. I did hear it somewhere. It's real. Okay, so it says the month of Av. Okay, the month you metamorphosize, metamorphose. If that's if that's even how you would say that, the, the month you metamorphose. Or disintegrate. I don't know if you can read that there. It's kind of small. Uh, the month of the lion. The month where the lion roars. Okay. Well, so we know Jesus is the lion of Judah, right? So it's the month he roars. Amos 3.8. The month where God destroys so he can reconstruct. Wow. Isn't that perfect? Isn't that exactly what he's doing? He's bringing an earthquake, Revelation 6, and he's resurrecting. You know, he's destroying. He's destroying us, actually. You know, you think we're going to be changed. Yeah, but your old you is going to be destroyed. You don't think of it that way. And we always think about, oh, I'm going to have a new body. Yeah, because your old body's gone. Your old guy's body's going to disintegrate, right? So it's going to be changed. So that's what's happening. That old temple is being destroyed. That's why he destroyed the temple on those two days, because he was foreshadowing. He's foreshadowing. We are the third temple, guys. We are where the Holy Spirit dwells now. So he's getting rid of this old temple, and he's reconstructing us. He's rebuilding us into a new creation. Consider what you hear and determine how to develop a new level of discernment or post counsel advice. Listen carefully. See, but... Again, this goes back to the Jews have a blindness, a hardening of the heart. They don't get this. They don't understand that this, that's what this month is all about. They don't understand this has to do with, with being born again, with being truly transfigured, truly transformed, truly changed in the twinkling of an eye. They don't understand that. So the name literally comes, Av literally means father. Av derives from the root, which means to will or to desire. This month is the low point of the Jewish calendar. See, they see it as a low point. And we see it as a high point. That's God. You know, he's always using paradox. He's always using juxtaposition. He's always using opposites, right? And so that's, that's what this time is about. It's a time of mystery. And again, it, I, I read somewhere else that they consider it the greatest holiday even above Yom Kippur, probably because, you know, people getting married and they're having a happy time. So a lot of people remember it as their wedding day. So that's probably why they celebrate it. The other cool, uh, interesting thing, well, that may, I might save that for another video. Um, but, you know, Jesus talks about the, this being the beginning of sorrows, right? Remember that? And so what we're in right now, guys, is the three weeks of sorrows, okay? So when Jesus talks in the Bible about the beginning of sorrows, there's, there's a double meaning in that. He, there's always a double meaning with everything God says, right? You always got to read between the lines with God. He's always, he's always got, uh, you know, he's saying something. See, Matthew 24, 8, he says, he says, when, when you hear about nation against nation, famines, pestilence, earthquakes in diverse places, which we've had all those things, right? All these are the beginning of sorrows. The beginning of sorrows. Well, what are we in right now? We're in the three weeks of sorrows. And these nine days are a special nine days leading up to the ninth of Av. And we're almost there, guys. We're almost at the ninth of Av. It's, it's, we're already at the fourth in Jerusalem now. It's already the fourth, and we've got to get to the ninth as far as they're concerned. Uh, for the month of Av. So uh, this is flying by, guys. It's flying by. Look look at this. Let's, let's go to the calendar real quick. Take a quick peek. See where we're at here. So uh, what is this? Monday the 1st. So that's the 4th for them. Okay? That's the 4th. We're already at the 4th. And really, the 5th. We're already at the 5th of Av. Because it's already started tomorrow. It's already started. So, guys, we're so close. We're so close to this time period. Okay, now let's look at a little bit of the calculator here. I thought this was interesting. 222, two, two, right? Is where this it's gonna be the 222nd day when we get to Tuba Ab. Not 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 this weekend. This weekend's ninth of Ab, but what I'm suggesting is perhaps the earthquake may happen this weekend. It may be this time of disintegration. What's what way to better disintegrate than an earthquake, right? Doesn't that disintegrate everything? <laughs> you know? 
other than maybe a laser beam or something, but an earthquake in terms of natural causes, uh, an earthquake is going to shake everything to the foundation, right? And it's going to shake it down, and then we're going to be reconstructed. You know, we're going to have this three days of darkness potentially, just throwing that out there because it's kind of roughly a three-day time period between their, when they're going to celebrate Ninth of Av and the Tuba Av time period. And so we're going to have this time period where we are disintegrating and changing, and we're changing the twinkling of eye. Of course, for us, it'll be kind of an instantaneous change. Um, but for the rest of the world, boy, they're going to go through seven years of disintegration before, you know, as they as they strive to be resurrected and changed, right? Uh, but that's basically what God's doing in this time. So very interesting. But this 222, right? So this is this Tuba Av is going to be the 222nd day of the year. Okay, just going back to the calendar here. So this weekend, Saturday, really Friday, begins the 9th of Av. But they don't technically celebrate it because it's, it's the Shabbat. But that doesn't mean God might not work. So he might, he might start something on the 8th. Now, God recognizes the Sabbath too, but is this the Sabbath he's following? Uh, that's a whole other question as well. Because this is on the Gregorian calendar, the Sabbath, right? But if he's going by the... 777s, seven, seven, sevens, it might be more around the 7th, which would be on the 4th for us. Um, so that could come even quicker than we, we think about in terms of the Sabbath day. Um, so he may start on the evening, eve of the 8th, you know, and, and carry on through. That's when they're going to celebrate it, but he may, he may do it differently. Then again, he might do it on their calendar. It all depends. Um, but in any case, that's the 9th of Av. And then we come back over here to the 14th. That is the 88th day from the blood moon of May. Now, the 12th is also the 88th day. If you count backwards as a chiasmus, you count backwards from the blood moon of Yom Kippur. So you got two 88s going on there. Well, let's go to our handy dandy count. Now, this is also the 11th is the 222nd day of the year. Is that, is that, I mean, come on, come on. <laughs> Seriously? Are you serious? Are, are you serious? So it's 88, 88, and it's 222 on. In 2022, are you kidding me? Could he be more specific? Could he be more obvious? Could he be more like, hey, hello, over here. Yeah, blood moon, biggest blood moon ever. Are you paying attention? Whoa. I mean, guys, if nothing happens at this time, it would be like, wow, all that signs for nothing? <laughs> I mean, at this point, it's kind of just like, dude, I don't even have to like guess. I, I, I mean, I was sitting here with God. I was like, is this really it, God? Is, is this really it? Is this it? Because, you know, you go through enough of these dates, you get a little, I don't want to say jaded, but you get a little kind of like, yeah, okay, we'll, we'll see. We'll see what happens, you know. I'm faithful, but not going to be, you know, don't put all my eggs in one basket. Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm just going to see what God does, you know. I'm faithful that, that he can do it if he wants to do it, but I'm not going to be all, oh, you didn't do it, God. But, man, when it comes together like this, you're just thinking, okay, God, what are you telling us here? What is this? Something significant has to happen at this time, and everything points to us being and go to go with the Lord. Amen? So check this out. 222, two, two, right? Okay. Now, again, I'm not a mathematician here. Far from it, but let's just have a little fun with numbers, shall we? So we got 222 two, two in 2022, right? So now we're working with six twos. There now, you know, there's some of you could probably do a better job than me uh, in, in terms of playing with these numbers, but obviously already we can see the connection with four 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 Jesus eight eight and eight eight. You know, it doesn't take a rocket science to, to see those connections uh, easily divisible, right? Easily connected. Okay, but in any case, let's let's just have some fun here. So we got two plus two plus two plus two plus two plus two. Plus two. Two. Okay, what does that give us? Twelve. Ah, twelve is an interesting number, right? Now, we know we're looking for judgment. It happens to be the 11th of August, so that is a, a number of judgment. But twelve is also an interesting number as well. Let's take a look here. Now, I was trying to find it. Another, there was another page I had open, and it closed on me. And I, uh, I can't find it now, so maybe one of you will find it. But basically, 222 also means the voice of God or the breath of God. And we know that we're going to hear the voice of God. You know, the loud command is going to happen along with that trumpet call when this takes place. So that also is very significant to me. But check this out. Um, uh, let's see. 12 meaning Bible, I'll just say. And it's considered the perfect number. It symbolizes God's power and authority, right? And we know there's 12 apostles and the 12 tribes and so forth. Now, Revelation alone has 22 occurrences of the number 
Okay, are, are, are you getting this? I don't know if you can, guys can see this very well. 22 occurrences of the number 12 happen in the book of Revelation. I mean, is that... Oh, wow. I mean, it's just too, it's, sometimes it's just too much. It's like, wow, God. We're just... We, we got a, a waterfall of amazing prophecies here, amazing connections, amazing fulfillments. It's, it's just too awesome. Okay, but let's go back here. So that's 12. Um, but let's do some other stuff here. Uh, what's also interesting, right? We're looking at 88 and 88, right? It's the 88th day. Well, that doesn't take a rocket science to figure that one out either with these twos. So if I do two times, whoops, excuse me, two times two, that obviously equals four. And then I take that times the third two, we have our first eight. And then we take the two times two of 2022, four, uh, times the, the final two. And we have the other eight. There's 88 again. So now you've got your 88 of 222 and 222. And, uh, and I think there were, there were a few other ones, uh, but I think you get the idea. You know, you add 222 plus 222, that's 444, four, four, which is Jesus. Um, you know, there's lots of ways you can play with that. But I just thought that was way too amazing uh, to just uh, overlook and uh, not to uh, share with you guys. So I thought that was pretty cool. Wanted to share that with you. Hey, some shouts out to you guys. Good to see all you guys here. Uh, Bobby, Sue, Donnie, Kenneth, Cheryl, uh, and Cassidy, and Jay Holy. I talk with God, Jesus Christ, Holy Spirit. Amen. Wow, that's quite a name there. Awesome. John Nelson, Cheryl, and Jay Lovely. And uh, John Nelson, I think I got you already, John. Cheryl, all right, awesome. Well, guys, it's great to see everybody here. And uh, I'm glad you all are, 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 are chit-chatting about this. And I'm going to get off now so more people will watch this video and I can read your comments. Brian, good to see you. And uh, Carl, and um, awesome, guys. But pretty cool things, man, are happening. So get ready for the Lord because he is coming, baby. He's coming. Isn't it cool? All right. <laughs> All right, I'll talk to you guys soon. May God bless you.